So, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to our Wednesday evening webinar, education webinar, um, with the topic, how does the price develop? We have this as education series. And today we want to talk about the third part, about the private market participants. Last Wednesday, we talked about the big and the Yes, the bigger and the great market attendees and participants like uh, fundamental or banks or uh, uh, like Fed and something else. And today um, we want to talk about you and me. We are the, pride, the private market uh, participants and this is a part of this education series from a trader's education plan from beginners to professional. So, um, I'm Markus Gabel, trader at the Asset Bench Bond Stahlberg and Partner and uh, CEO of Dow How Trading, my own company. And uh, this is the risk disclaimer. I have to show it to you. So, Forex and CFDs, you know, are complex instruments and come with a high risk of losing money rapidly due to leverage. Uh, at Admiral Markets, around about 83% of retail investors' accounts lose money when trading CFDs with risk provider. So this presentation accompanying video is for information, only for information and educational purposes only. So please uh, be attention about that and um, note about that. So the next one. Um, the second risk disclaimer, since August this year, the regulation within the European differs for retail clients and professional clients. And in this presentation, we use only trading accounts where all clients should use a high leverage in a risk-free environment, environment. So, but uh, at Admiral Markets, you can choose between uh, retail clients and professional clients as well so why do you want why do you have to use admiral markets because best index offerings like dax 30 typical spread of 0.8 points during the main trading hours of forex euro against uh, us dollar 0.8 pips typical spread and no commission that's really important and for me uh, important no minimum stop distances or requotes. That's really important in trading. And this is important for me. And we use MetaTrader 5, 4, and the Supreme Edition. So, um, you know, at August, we have the ESMA in, in Europe to, um, uh, to hint and uh, important changes for Forex and CFT tradings. You can see it on the right side so the leverage is different between um, retail traders and professional uh, clients okay your options you can choose it this is uh, the one thing and you have to con if you want you can contact admiral markets by youtube facebook or you can see the homepage admiralmarkets.com so this is how does the price develop and we want to talk today about the private market participants, um, who they are, where are the orientations or the different uh, ways they want to go, and how uh, who influences the market. And uh, um, do you and me, or are we able to influence the market, basically? That's a big question. We want to talk about that and uh, how you can use this knowledge for your own trading success. So that's, we want to talk. Okay, uh, the private market participants. Uh, I want to uh, pleasure you. Please take a pen and uh, paper and write it down. Cause we want to switch because uh, between one slide, I only have one slide in this education course, uh, in this uh, presentation course, I want to talk to you. This is a lot of experience I want to talk to you about of my own experience. And we want to switch into the MetaTrader 4 because I want to show you something what I talked to you. And so write it down. Um, 
it's only one slide and write it down please because uh, there are really important things I want to talk to you I, I want to tell you and this is the um, really important thing so I'm not a friend of a big presentation with 20 30 or 40 slides because I think if it's really important for you you have to write it down so cause the thoughts are wandering from your fingers to your arms into your brain and there it burns into your brain this is really important because trading is not a thing you can make by side or uh, it's uh, not an easy thing trading is like a job so and you have to learn this job and this is this is one of the most important things i always try to explain trading is a great stuff it's uh, it's really interesting and it's uh, exciting yes but uh, as I told you at Admiral, for example, at Admiral Markets, 83% of retail traders failed in their trading. There must be a reason. So what is the reason? Most of the traders are thinking trading is so easy, but it's not. It's really not. So, and this is the reason why I say write it down your thoughts or what I want to explain to you. So there's one slide and we uh, always switch or two slides. Um, we talked about in this uh, in this um, series how develop uh, how develops the price. We talk about the book map. So last Wednesday we talked about the great uh, attendees like the banks and Fed and uh, uh, whatever on all of them, have a meeting in the book map on the order book, all of them. And that's the next step. We are talking today about the private traders, you and me, and we have also a meeting with the book map. Because if you uh, make your trade, the trade is going to the order book and then a time and sales list. And after that, you can see it in the chart. So what kind of uh, private market participants we have? So where are the different private market participants and what are their setups in the market? This is what we talk about this evening. So you can see it in the overview here. You can see an investor. You can see a position trader. You can see a day trader, a scalper. We talk about locals. What about what's what's what what's talking about locals? What is a local? I want to tell you, arbitrageur, a hedger, a gamblers or speculators, and false. All of them are under the top of different private market participants. So let's uh, talk about every each position here. At every at every each trader and the kind and their setups in the market so let's talk about an investor what does an investor do an investor is most of the times a big trader most uh, of the investors have has more than or have more than 1000 euros or dollars on their accounts so they have a big account that's a private investor but they have big accounts maybe let's talk about um, let's see um, home offices like uh, so asset management so, but home offices little um, asset management uh, asset management they are investors or your private investor one person with a lot of accounts um, so on most of the private investors buy and sell shares they are not so often involved in the forex market or in futures they are often very they are very often include or involved in the share in the in the stock markets they're holding position positions for more than 12 months or longer 12 months uh, at least one year or longer so they want to have the the um, um, the shares and they want to hold them and they want to particip participate on the factory or on the company 
the shares they are holding in their in their account. So, but most of the private or most of the investors they have a fundamental trading approach. What does that mean? Okay, a fundamental approach. They are look. They don't look at the chart first. Maybe at, at the at the finish at the last consequence. Maybe they are looking at the chart. But an investor is uh, talking to the CEO. Is looking what do they have in the pipeline? What do they produce for the future? Or um, they are looking in the in the book or. Um, in the numbers of the company, so they are went to the main um, assembly hall and they um, talk to all the people they're working there. So they ha they want to have they want to know about everything about the company, uh, which shares they want to buy, or on the other side they want to sell. That's an investor. So as you can imagine, an investor is not trading in five-minute charts. The positions of an investor you can see mostly in a weekly chart or higher in a monthly chart. There you can see. That's the reason, let me show. So where is my, where is my, so just a second here. Oh, this one, sorry, I need next one. Just a moment, here, here we are. So maybe an investor is looking for a share, but, doesn't matter, now it's also New Zealand dollar, doesn't matter. But you can see in the weekly chart, for example, there you can see the big moves. So if you have a lot of money, if you are in an investor, huh? so maybe let's look for, let's try it. Um, let me see, symbols. So FX, C, C, Cash. So let's see where are the charts. If you see here, energies, futures, share CFDs. So look here, here we are. So okay, that's maybe let's uh, shares of uh, US. So let's see this one. Okay, close. So chart. Let's see this one. So now you can see in the weekly chart, you can see the big, big moves. So, and if you have a lot of money, so an investor has a lot of money in his account, in its account, in his account. So, and as you can imagine, if you have a lot of money, you cannot go inside in the market with one position. It's not possible to buy maybe like a GE to buy 1 million shares at, at one spot. That's not impossible. So an investor has to buy and buy piece by piece in the market. So that's the reason why often you can see if a here, for example, or here, or here. This is the accumulation phase. And investors are responsible for making trends, for continuation of a trend, or for rebound of the trend, or for a trend break. That you can do if you have a lot of money. So an investor has a lot of money. And an investor doesn't go inside in the market with one uh, with one order that doesn't work. So he wants to he uh, he would destroy the market and the bookman. That's not in the interest of the investors. He want to continue the trend. He want to buy inside of a correction. So if you want to see where a trend is going ahead, look at the higher time frames. Maybe 
day trading, maybe weekly chart. There you can see where the big trend is going ahead. So an investor mostly is involved in daily, maybe weekly chart. So this is a private investor. But at, at the end, and this is the important thing, and this is the knowledge you have to use for your own trading, an investor is playing with you in the market. So if you want to make a five-minute chart, if you want to trade in GE, for example, in five-minute chart, it can be that at the same time, an investor is going inside in the market as well, and you have to play with him. So, but the investor in, the mo in most of the cases has very much more money than you and me. This is the knowledge you have to know and you have to hint in your trading. So this is investor, mostly fundamental approach or fundamental setup and hold the positions more than 12 months. And this is the point here, what an investor does. So let's talk about, so where is my, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is my PowerPoint? So I need my PowerPoint presentation. Where is it? So, okay, let's see. That's live. Come on. Ah, no, it's so stupid. So here we are. So now it's live. So here we are. So next one we want to talk about, it's a position trader. So what's a position trader? A position, position trader has a little bit less account like an investor. A position trader buy and sells all kind of finance, financial instruments like shares, like uh, uh, forex or currencies, like uh, like uh, oil or gold or uh, silver, something else, or copper uh, or sugar, coffee, like this one, or um, shares or ex exchange, um, exchange, something like that. And with a time frame of uh, some days till to some month, maybe less than more, less than one year from days to months. A position trader has um, is a sort of, it's like a medium thing between fundamental setup and the chart and the chart analysis. So this is what a, a position trader uh, does, and maybe he talk, he look for a share like GE, and uh, look what they have in the pipeline. But at the same time, he look at the chart. Huh? So, so he look at he look at the chart. Let's see where is my where is my here is it. And a position trader is mostly involved in the daily chart. So, cause he want to hold the position for some days, maybe for some month. Uh, in that way. And he has a medium uh, composition between a fundamental and a simple trading approach in the chart. So write it, write it down. This is the big difference between an investor. An investor has only a fundamental approach because he wants to hold the position for more than 12 months, maybe two years, three years. So I have a client in my education service. Uh, this is investor. So he has some positions he has in his uh, in his in his account for more than five or ten years. So that's great. Uh, some of his uh, positions uh, he was able to double it, but in a time frame of ten years, that's a long thing. That's a long way, and you must to hold on this <laughs> this long way to so ten years. That's a great stuff. Um, a position trader uh, is a little bit different. He's a medium. Uh, what's the, what's the word? 
Mischung. I, I don't know the word of Mischung. Let me see. Google helps. Google helps. So let me see. I know the, re the right word. So let's see if I find it. The mix. Ha! <laughs> That was so easy. The mix, it's a mix. <laughs> it's really easy. It's a mix between a fundamental and a chart technical analysis. This is what a position trader does. So uh, the next one we're talking about, maybe that's you and me. We are day traders. So let me tell, let me ask something for our attendees this evening. Are you an investor, a position trader, or a day trader, or maybe a scalper? What uh, what are you? Write it down, please, in the chat box. Short, only some capitals. Write it down if you want. Give me give me a short hint, please. Are you a day trader or a position trader, or are you an investor? Maybe you can text it in the chat box if you want. So a day trader, maybe the most of us. We are day traders. So what is a day trader and what, what makes a day trader? So a day trader buy and sell shares, futures or currencies in a horizon for very less minutes, maybe one day, very seldom two days. This is a day trader. So a day trader, so like me, I'm a day trader as well. So I'm a mix between position trade and day trading. Some positions I can hold for some days. That's not a problem for me. I can, some positions I can hold for one week. It's not a problem. So I have some positions in a weekly chart. So I like currencies. I want to, I want to catch the big move. So that's not a problem. But I'm, but I'm a day trader as well. And a day trader, so you make your trades in five minutes or in the hourly chart, not in the day trade, not in a daily chart. This is a position trader. A day trader, you make your five minute chart and uh, in hourly chart. So this is what I do. Um, for example, no, come on. So this one. So maybe you can see I have a trade actually in Euro against the Jap uh, British pound. You can see this is a trend and uh, I opened this trade uh, as yesterday. So yesterday at this point here, this is the EA I working with uh, yesterday at around 7 p.m. So yesterday at the same time round about. And now the price, uh, the, the trade works. It's almost a little close, uh, close to my target. But um, it works. So it works one day now. It's running one day. Maybe it works a little bit longer. I don't know if it will be a winner or lose. I don't know yet. So, but the trend continuation is more likely than a trend break. So this is what a day trader does. Maybe you're trading in uh, maybe in five minutes. Then you are a day trader as well. But and that that's the conclusion of all of that. It doesn't matter if you're an investor, a position trader, or a day trader, you have to make your trades, and I can see your trades in the book map. That's the thing. In my very past, when I start my trading, when I start my trading, I always thought I am the big king of the trading. I always thought if I set up, if I make, uh, if I made my trade, I sat in my front of my PC and I thought, so now come on market, you have to do what I want because I'm inside of the market now. And I'm waiting and I was waiting and I was staring at every fucking candle. But most of the times I lose my, I lost my money because the reason is the market doesn't matter about me. I'm not interesting. The market is not interesting about me, Marcus Garbel. It's not interesting. I'm I'm not a, I'm a, I'm not a number. So if you make a study in a university, you have a number. 
So the prof knows your number. Maybe he knows he don't knows he don't know your name, but he knows you have a number. But if you make a trade, and you can see maybe you can see your position in the book map, you are not a number. You are nothing. In less than a second, your order is done. Your order left and you are inside or outside the market. But me, in my very past, I always thought I'm really important for the market. Doesn't matter if I make a day trade or invest or, or a swing trade, position trade. I really, it's, I'll be honest to you, I really thought in my past I'm important. Now, Marcus is in the market, and now the market has to do what I want. Yes, but the truth was, the market just don't care about me. Never and never up to, to this second in that moment. The market doesn't care about me and you as well. So the big move, and the big thing about that is, you have accept that in a white table, that in a white table thing, we both of us, we are not interesting uh, for the market. The market doesn't care about us. It doesn't care if you are inside or outside. Please burn it in your brain. The market doesn't care about you completely. If you're going to die, it's a, it's a crucial point. If you're going to die tomorrow, maybe your family is very sad or your friends. But the market, the market goes on. The market doesn't care about you. And this is what I want to, ta what I, to tell you. Look, you can see in my back on the window here is the hourly class. I told you last. One, please burn it in your brain, write it down. If the hourly class is done, I can switch it. I can move it and it starts from again. Is your hourly class of your life, it's done. When the last piece, the last sand piece is fallen down, you cannot switch your private hourly class. It's over, over and over, ladies and gentlemen. Please realize that if you are sitting in front of your PC and staring, I talk, I, I talk about myself. It's an experience of myself. If I'm sitting in front of the PC in my very past, and I'm staring like a completely idiot to the candles if I can move it with my energy of the universe. So stupid. I was staring at the candles and I thought I can move the candles or I can move the market. But the market doesn't care about me up to today. And this is what I want to say you it doesn't matter if you're an investor, a position trader, day trader. The only thing what you have to do is you have to work with probabilities. No more, no less. Doesn't matter if you're a day trader, position trader, investor. Please realize that and write it down and think about if we are done with this webinar. Think about that really, that very important thing about the hourly class, ladies and gentlemen. And finally, in the private trader, we're talking about a scalper. So what is a scalper? A scalper is a very uh, crazy type of trader. He buy and sell air shares of mostly futures uh, in a very, very less time frame, maybe seconds. He holds, his, he holds some positions for seconds. You know, from seconds with only some minutes ago. Um, and he used so the momentum 
of uh, the bid and ask spread. So in my trading pro in my trading education series, uh, we trading everything. So in the Dow How trading community, we have uh, we have an investor, we have position trader, we make day trading every day from Tuesday to Thursday. We make day trading in five minutes and we make scalps because I have an I have um, um, I have a special area with a virtual trading room. We make uh, volume and order book trading, maybe in the Dow or in the DAX. So maybe one position is running for three minutes, two minutes, maybe just seconds. That's scalping. But that is very exhausting, that kind of trading. But I can see in the order book, I can see your position of a day trader. And if I have a look at the, of the order book, I can see the position of a position trader and of the investor. So if I can see a big order, a, re a really big order in the book map, I can see, oh, there comes in an investor or position trader. I can see it and I can use it for my own trading. But all of them, we have a meeting with the book map. There's no different, there's no second book map. There's only one book map, only one for shares, for futures, for something like gold, silver, something else. And, and there's a, not an official book map, but there is a market and a book map for currencies. This is over the count, OTC, over the count. But in some, in the meta trader, you can use some indicators, you can see the volume. So. And the scalper is involved in the market for only from seconds to some minutes. So this, uh, that's the four private traders. But there's a second row you can see, like no locals, arbitrageur, hedger, hedging, and gamblers or speculators, and at least four. So let's talk a little bit about what is a local. Damn, what is a local? So a local is a trader on the floor, directly on the floor. Maybe you can see, uh, if you can see NTV or Bloomberg or something else. So like, um, if you can see on the Bloomberg or NTV, Marcus Koch, he's standing on the floor. And you can see the lot of people that are running around on the floor. That's the locals. Most of the locals, they are trading of its own accounts. So they have a certification that they can, that they have the allowance, that uh, the permission, sorry, the permission for to, as trading directly on the floor on New York, uh, mostly of New York or Chicago. Not so on the, in Frankfurt there, we uh, don't have any more. Um, we don't have a floor there anymore because Yes, I know there are sitting some people in Frankfurt on the on the floor, but mostly they are working for some banks, but not of its own account. A local has its own account and is standing on the floor and trading. And you can see it in the TV when they are running around on the floor like crazy people. That's really loud and noisy and uh, it's really exhausting and very exciting, this kind of trading. So, um, or they are trading or for some clients. That's the second uh, the the second part. A local uh, either is trading of his own account or for clients. So they have called buy buy. You know that from some movies. That's real. So they get some calls and they buy this one or sell this one and he make this trade direct on the floor. This is a local. But and that's the big thing. You have to realize a local, and if he's crying buy and sell, at the end, you can see it in the book map. That's the end. That's the, the reason why I always say the book map is the alpha and the omega. The end, at the, the start, the beginning, at the end of every kind of trading. Doesn't matter what kind of trader you are, you have a meeting at the end with the book map, with the order book, as well a local. 
So what's an arbitrageur? So this kind of trading is really exhausting and not so uh, not so knowing um, about every uh, everybody because um, he uses the differences of the price between uh, the future and the a stock market, the Kassa market, we say in German in the Kassa market, or the, uh, you know, the, the future, maybe in the S&P 500 is future, the future of the S&P 500 is working all around the day, uh, the all day and all night, only with some interruption, 11 p.m., I think. So, but the normal uh, stocks open at 9.30 or 9 and running to uh, 3, um, 30 hour time or in the German time 3.30 to 20 uh, to 10 p.m. Uh, in the evening. And this kind of trader use the price difference between a future and the normal market. This is what the arbitrage does. Or he used the price difference between two different um, places. Maybe he uh, he see in his two book he see in the book map uh, the GE is pricing at uh, thirty dollars for example, but at another place maybe in Chicago or something else there are thirty one. So he buy there and sell there, and the difference is his is his uh, gain. This is what an arbitrage does. He used the difference between price differences or price differences between two places, two stocks exchanges. But at the end, you can see his order in the book map. This is at the end what everybody has or everybody has to do. Now let's talk about the hedger, hedging. You know hedge falls. And this is another that we talked about last week about the hedge funds. You can private, you can make private hedging. For example, you have you want to trade about uh, let's see, um, you have you want to buy GE or Alibaba or something else, and you make a hedge at the future. Maybe you are long or you have you buy uh, you bought some uh, shares. And the price and the market is going down, but you have long positions. You bought that kind that that stuffs or that it shares, but you can see the price or the market goes down. And you can make a short in the future or in the general market. So you have a long position there in your shares, but you sh make a short in the future. This is like hedging, or maybe you have two positions in one share. Or maybe uh, most of the people I know they make it in the currency market. Maybe they have uh, they have a big position, maybe in euro dollar short. Maybe for example, a big position in maybe uh, position trading. So for let's see some days, weeks, month. But in between, they make uh, they traded the cor the correction in long positions. So this is a kind of hatching, but both positions you can see in the market or in the book map. This is the big deal at, at, at this moment. Both positions you can see in the book map. So this is like, this is what uh, it means if you make hatching. So, and finally, no, almost finally, there on the right side you see, you can see like, uh, Gamblers or speculators. So, what does a speculator? So, speculation or speculators. It's a term. Is a term in um, in the, in a uh, uh, in the old language, Latin, Latinum. I don't know the English word right now, but I think you know what I mean. So, it means speculare. So, speculare means you're watching around. You become you only watching. So this is what a speculator does. He watches. He is really calm, and he has he. It's like a gambler. Speculators make very short trades. 
maybe uh, a, a gambler or a speculator can see the price is very close to a next high or low, for example. So, and he knows the price will break through this point, this high or this low. So he make risk in money, not risk in the market. Risk in the market means you have a long position. Risk in money, he buys more than one lot or more than one future, more, more than one contract, uh, two, three, four, a risk of money and makes only this, this breakthrough, this only move, this point two or three on the other side and a lot of money inside, in, out, finish. This is like a gambler. This is like a speculator with high risk in the market, but very short. It's a little bit a scalper. It's, a, it's like similar like a scalper, but a scalper makes more trades with less risk and the gamblers or speculators have less trades with high risk. This is the big difference. But at the end, all of them have a meeting in the book map. And you can see it in the book map. That's really important. So, and um, let's really finally, we're almost done, force. You know, force, yeah? we have thousands of force around the world, but uh, that's a statistically value uh, or number. You know, there are thousands of force around the world, but only around about 6%. Not 16, not 60, six, only 6% six of, of all phones around the world are profitable, are successful. That's a big deal, ladies and gentlemen. And every phone has to buy position in like an investor in a big market. Most of the phones have the um, have the responsibility to make only long. They only can buy. They cannot make short trades. Most of the phones it's not allowed. Not in Germany, and I think in, not in USA as well. But at the end, every position they want to be, they want to want to make open. You can see it in the book map. And this is what you have to realize about all of this private market participants. If you're an investor or a position trader or a day trader or a scalper, maybe you're standing on the floor in New York or Chicago, you are local. I don't know if you are local or if you make arbitrage, if you make hedging, if you are a gambler with high risk in the market, if you are a speculator, or if you are a floor manager, we have a meeting. We have a meeting here. We have a meeting in the book map. And this is the big knowledge, what you have to realize. It doesn't matter what kind of trader you are. But think about, you are not alone in the market. This was my big mistake in my own past. I always thought I'm alone. I'm the hero of the Starbury field. I'm the big hero in the market because I'm inside of the market now. I'm the hero. Doesn't matter. Market don't care about, doesn't care about me. Realize that you are only Nothing. You are only a trader. This is everything what you have to do. You have to realize you have a meeting and a book map. So choose your setup very wisely and realize that trading is a really, is on the one side not a big deal. On the other side, it is. There's a difference. To learn trading, it's not the big deal. 
because you can make a trading approach like Dow theory. You can use the expert advisor of my of Dow How uh, Fibo Pro, for example. To learn trading at itself, basically, it's not a big deal. Maybe you, it's it's a question of your time you want to spend it. Maybe six months. If I would ask my clients, maybe one year. That's not a big deal, because you are not stupid. You are you are a smart guy, a smart girl. The big deal is to accept the inevitable thing. You will lose money. You will lose time. You need time for trading. And you have to ex you have to accept that you have a lot of players with you and a meeting in the book map. So this was the private traders. And I hope and I hope you wrote something down. And maybe you will think about something I told you in this webinar. Next week, we have the last part of how a price develops. We want to talk about it. And then we finished. And uh, then we have to go to the next step, how it develops the trend. And then we are very close how we can trade uh, how or how we can make some trades in the charts. So we have a lot of webinars at Admiral Markets, real-time daily trades as well. We, if you want, we can see us. Uh, we can see each other tomorrow at 11 with a market overview. On Monday, you can see Jay. On Tuesday, you can see Paul. On Wednesday, today was Giancarlo. Uh, tomorrow, it's my, it's me and Dirk on Friday. I want to say thank you for your time. I hope you learned something a little bit for you. And um, yes, so I hope you will favorably dispose towards me. And uh, I want to finish with the word, um, don't forget, the journey is the reward. Bye-bye and enjoy the rest of your time.